Hey everybody, and welcome back to Okami in... Uh... Wow, this looks terrible out here. Um... Okay, so here's the deal. I originally wanted to use this part to, to do some cleanup in the surrounding areas. You know, Taka Pass, uh, got to Forest Shinsu Field, before we progress with the story. And then, I came to Shinsu Field, come to find I cannot leave Shinsu Field to go to any of the other areas in Taka Pass, uh, Gata Forest, all those. Because right now, I am now locked into doing the story. So, that's fun. Well, anyways, we're, we're just going to progress with the story then. Okay. Oh, um, real quick. Uh, I have, I've been keeping a, tr I've been keeping track of all the stray beads I've collected, and I've been, uh, splitting, I've been going through some of the other parts I've recorded, and splicing clips of me getting the stray beads out of those parts, and put them, putting them in a little folder. And I missed one. It's right here. Yeah, there we go. So now I can take this, I can take the clip of me getting this, Splice it out of the video. Well, once it's all, once the final version of the video is rendered, uh, take the raw foot, splice that out, and then save that for when I make the video of me getting all this. Uh, you know, for when I make the video showing all the stray beads. Oh. I don't have time to deal with you right now. I got a story to get through. Okay. Now then, uh,. And for the record, if you try to leave Shinsu Field, uh, if you try to go anywhere uh, but Kamiki Village, Easton's like, no, Ami, what are you doing? You gotta go to Kamiki Village. There's a festival going on. And no, using the Mermaid Spring will not help you either. Uh, Easton will just say the same thing. Also, uh, I messed with this off screen. Is this burning right here? Uh, there is this random treasure right there. You don't have to worry about that. But this, on the other hand... We have... Another stray bead! So that's, t that's two at once. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna head to Kamiki Village. And progress with the story. So apparently there's now a festival going on. So that's pretty cool, although... But the way the weather looks outside... Uh, probably want to postpone that. I mean, it's a little nice out here. Uh, oh, I don't like that music. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, why is everybody over at Susano's house? Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out here this instant, Susano! You have some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Konohana? Huh? Susano did what? You can come out now, Susano. We're not mad at you. I wouldn't say that about your husband, though. You must have had some reason to drink, the pure, drink out the a purification sake. Uh oh, this is bad. Hey, you know, if man needs a drink, he needs a drink. And if he needs, and maybe his thirst was so was so great that he needed to drink, not he needed to drink the a purification sake. I respect him. Not that I would know anything about that. I don't. I don't. I myself don't drink any alcohol because I can't stand the taste of it. Anyways, why would you drink all the a purification sake, pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. But it wasn't any old sake, and this isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Naki and Shiranu was great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone. I don't care about Nagi and his fleabag friend. I am Susana, the greatest warrior who ever lived. I, I can't I can't not do a hiccup on command. There isn't a drop of a purification sake left? 
Cezano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sacred sake Kushi brood is gone. Dang, why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible. I mean, a purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. Yeah. The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. That's right, you fool! Do you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed the unspeakable act of the moon cave. It was I who brought Orochi's back to life. I have brought utter destruction upon the world. <laughs> Huh? What is that fool talking about? I was sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nagi. I wanted to prove it. It was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukuyomi. But the legend was true, and I've unleashed unspeakable evil. And the curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness! You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. Oh, dude. Then I bought its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there, but the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least, not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. <laughs> I know that Tsukuyomi was removed and the moon cave vanished. But if what Shizana said is true, that would mean Orochi's right of sacrifice. Yeah. It's about to happen again. Oh, there's Orochi yelling. Leon's like, he's like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, God. What's about to happen now? Oh, uh oh. Uh. Uh. I don't know what those symbols mean, but they can only be from Orochi. Uh, what are they doing? Oh, what is that? Oh, we heard about this. Uh-oh. Yeah, there you go. Does that does like he was he was waiting for that moment. He told us of himself. And whose house did it land on? Who is picked to be the sacrifice? It's Kushi's house. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Susano, you're no coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. Ow. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know you'll come. Wait, Kushi, you're not going to... Yes, she is. Oh, hello. I guess she had some backup made in case. I mean, at least you can carry that. Behold my Thunder Brew. 
The great Nagi and Tatsuke Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely you can Tatsuke even Orochi. Girl, let's hope so. Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? I guess she is! No, Kushi, wait! Yeah. Yeah. So, that's a little too much for you, old man. Susano, what you gonna do? Alright. Well, we're in control of Ami again. Uh, there's a thing I want to do real quick. Uh, I know this is probably the, the least appropriate time to do this. But, uh, spoilers, there's a stray bead in the River of the Heavens that I just totally forgot about. Uh, I don't know if the game's going to let me go do this, but I'm going to go try to do it. Oh, hi, Sakia. Great Mother Kami Am Amaterasu, my greatest fear has come to pass. On the eve of the full moon, an eight-headed serpent shall appear. The accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. Yeah, Miss Rowan said literally these same words a few minutes ago. That tragic past that haunts this village is set to repeat itself. But this time, the dark force is at work. <laughs> All I can do is pray that you are able to overcome this great evil. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Cool story. Can I do this right now, actually? Oh, I, I actually can go in here. Okay. Yeah, I have uh, the straight bead locations pulled up right now. I mean, despite me having played th through this game twice, uh, my memory is not so great. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna meet you uh, near the cave of Nagi here in the River of Heavens, where we'll get the stray bead. Okay. Okay. Now then, um, I'm trying to follow what it says on the wiki, on the Okami wiki. Uh, yeah, I think this might be it. Hey, hey, there it is. This is stray bead. Sweet. Okay, now I'm gonna meet you back outside in Kimiki Village. Oh, okay, we're back in Kimiki Village. I wanna see this right now. Uh, Hayabusa, you saved my life. Is that why you were sitting there the whole time? Were you waiting to push me out of the way of that arrow? I had no idea. I've treated you so bad lately. I'm sorry, forgive me, Hayabusa. Can I talk to Hayabusa himself? Uh, no, I cannot talk to him. Or whatever, or whatever his actual name is. Uh... Yeah, Susanna will not come out. Can I actually go in here? No, he locked up. Well, uh, see ya, Susanna. Um, we'll be waiting for you, I guess, if you do decide to come. Gimme, Demon Fang. Dang it. Really gotta tap that. Okay. Oh, Kushi, you okay? You okay, sweetie? <sighs> Don't try to stop me soon. Or you too, Snowy. If Roji's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi. That attitude's gonna get you killed. You really think you'd win with a little jug of sake? Yeah, see soon. I guess I am crazy. But it's the only way. My sake is the only answer. I'm going. And I'll defeat that monster with my sake. Well, if you're that determined, come along with us. Now you too, Ami. Dang it, why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Well, I don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, she just... Oh, this music's so good. 
I was like, oh, this is like super triumphant, like, oh, look, we're going off to save the day uh, music. Not the only time it plays either. Although, the other instance that I remember of it playing in the game is, is like, way better. But this is pretty good, too. Uh, hang on. Can I do this real quick? I'm sorry. Uh, sidetracking here. Can I do this real quick? Uh. Uh, yeah, if you go around the gate like I just did. Oh, oh there's a water spot right there. Let me see something up there. Uh, if you go around the gate like that. You don't go to the moon cave. You just come out to this little aisle. Um. Hey, let me turn it tonight. Just in case something. Now. Yeah, I just wanted to show you can do that. There's no point in doing it. But anyways. Uh, I want to go to that water spell real quick. Uh, just cause. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sidetracking here. Uh, Kushi, you, you're just gonna have to wait. I actually didn't even know about this over here. Um, let's see what we show. Okay, now. Because I had mentioned before that doing the water spout can be really finicky, but it didn't wouldn't let me show at that time. Treasure! What are you? Hey, hey, hey! A golden peach! Yeah, you can actually buy one of these from that Demon Fang Trader. But I did not know you could just get one right there. That's nice. Well, anyway, to the moon cave. Let's do this, guys. Give me your turn, Frank. Dang it. All right, here we go. By the way, I should mention that if you're if you're wondering whether or not you... If you're playing this for the first time, like, if you're following along with me, and you're wondering, uh, I can't go back to Gata Forest and and talk and pass anymore, can I? You'll get another chance. Don't worry. Also, uh, Walk's here. I knew you'd come, Amaterasu. That's not French, whatever. Well, I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? None of your business, you half baked prophet. Now, what are you doing? Uh, what is it? Okay, so I guess it's about to make use of the dragon crystal. A serpent crystal, whatever. Alright. Hey, that's the serpent crystal. He, he stole from us. I don't know if he really stole it from us. He just kind of beat, beat us to it. He's gonna play a song then. Okay, so now Super Crystal sucks up all the evil stuff. Alright. And we can go in now. Although there's some evil stuff still emitting from there. Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part. And now leave the list to me, Matalasu. Still not that's still not French accent, but whatever. Uh oh, what's that? Oh yeah. Oh, this is getting bad. Like my my control is like vibrating like crazy. Hey, you hear that? Ooh. Uh oh. He got snatched away. There we go. Oh, uh oh. And. Why you. What's the meaning of this? 
meaning. Hmm. It's a saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells. I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. <laughs> Dang it! It's like we've been set up again, Ami. But were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, Masheli? I mean, we were. It is time for you to shine, Amatulasu. Now, let me leave you with this little prophecy. Look, the moon, the moon, the moon came out. <laughs> Pardon, Masheli. That wasn't a very good one. Uh, they're never good. Au revoir. And he just hops away. Bah! Guess we're stuck here. But we were planning on taking care of that Orochi anyway. Cut it out, Ami. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. Well, nothing for it. Straight, straight into the belly of the beast. Hi, Susano. Uh, I don't know how he plans to get in. Hey, got everything. Thing. Very nice. Oh yeah, here we go. Um, I should mention if you if you are following along with me, and you do plan to go after all the stray beads, I want to let you know now. Once you're done with the moon cave, you can't come back. I'm gonna slow walk up here. And, I, and the reason I say that is because, don't worry, there are no stray beads in the moon cave. I mean, I mean that would be really, that would really, you know, that would be a really bad, uh, get, a bad design flaw to put 100% collectibles in a place you can never go back to. I mean. What kind of a what kind of a game would do that anyway, right? Well, anyways, uh, well the bridge is out, huh? Oh great, the stairway has crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We either have to find a way around, or we can go our way. You know, our way. It's so obvious. It's that saying of mine. Leap before you think. I know it'll take a lot of guts to do that now. Uh, are you sure we should jump down there? I mean, look at all that evil energy. Uh. Oh, nothing for it. Leap before you think. Me. Ugh, ow! God, that is killing my arm right there. Okay. Alright, you're fine. Whoa. That was quite a fall. What have we gotten ourselves into this time? Well, now that we're down here, I hope you can sniff out Kushi's uh, whereabouts for a while. Hit it right there, Fluffy! What do you think you're doing? What business do you have at the Moon Cave? Shalom, God of our master, the great Alochi. I just made up that voice on the spot, okay? Over there. Oh, you! Never thought I would see your face here. I could spot you a mile away. Oh, God, that is hurting my throat. Fits it for a fight, you chumps? Well, we don't have time to mess around with bit players like you. But if you insist... Then hurry up so I can cut you to shreds. What? You're just a dumb old wolf. Huh? Yeah, look at that foolish mug. You've got to be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. You stray so far into a place like this. You're not too bright, are you, chap? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah. I wonder if Fluffy is just hungry. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. Huh? We don't have time for you, Fluffy. Wow. Okay. 
No. Uh, it's the calcified cavern. I don't know why there's a why there's a. This is called again. Hey, it's the Thunder Brew. Uh, fragrance sake representing the culmination of Kushi's skill. Hey, isn't this that babe Kushi's sake? Hmm, there's still some left. But I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi. Well, um... Okay. But then where is she? Uh, who knows? Well, anyways, we're not getting past them anytime soon. So I guess... Ooh. There's a demon gate here. I still take it on then. Uh oh. I sense a new enemy. Who are you? Did he just stab? Okay. And what is he doing there? Oh, he's summoning enemies, isn't he? That's what it seems to me. Alright, dude, bring it on. Oh, no, he's got skulls. Ow, ow. How's he doing that? Okay, for this guy, take out his skulls. And you'll leave him vulnerable. Okay, slice you apart, give me Demon Fang. Three! Oh, that is so nice. For the, uh, for the record, I'm pretty sure it's doing that. Because... If the, if the game will let me. Uh, I've got... I don't have it on. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got the... Well, I, okay, I did not have the Golden Lucky Cat on. But yeah, I bought this off screen. Along... No, I already had the piece of bell. Anyways, uh, what's in here? Uh, um... Mask? That's a blank piece of paper. Uh, in its face covering, we're into a piece of just one of Hey, this is one of those masks those imps wear. Uh, but this one's so plain, no design on it or anything. Of course, any respectable artist can't resist a blank canvas. I mean, you just want to paint something on it, you know? Hold on a sec for a ball. I'm gonna spiff it up a bit. Oh, okay. Um, alright, give me some time to think up to think up a design. Alright, so, uh, I drew a mask on- I definitely drew something on there. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you just yet. Oh god, where do- where do I- Where do I- Oh, there's a thing up here. Uh... Can't do anything about that yet. Okay, how do I... Okay, I'm over here. I like turned around for a second there. Okay, well now we can talk to these guys and maybe they'll let us through. Hmm? What are you doing here? Looking for intruders? I couldn't help myself. I do, I do a stupid face on there. That's the best I can do. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, I'm, and I'm sorry for skipping Eason's dialogue for uh, th for this. There was that silly looking wolf a while back. But nothing else out of the ordinary. Uh, we got this place covered. Get back to your post now. That's almost my... That is almost my... Uh, my papyrus voice. Post? Why post? The sacrificial ceremony for the great Orochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get in there and help! Oh, uh, okay, I'm on it. <laughs> this is so stupid what I just did there. I'm pretty sure there's. I'm pretty sure you'll. I'm pretty sure Eason always says the same thing. If you whatever, no matter design, whatever what, no matter what design you draw, he'd be like, <laughs> he'll laugh and be like, oh, that doesn't look half bad. Okay, well, we can't do anything about the treasure chest that was in there. Uh, we'll have to come back later. Uh, in the meantime, uh, welcome to Rochi's stronghold. 
So, uh, this will be fun. But it's like in here. Um, so, where to, where to start? Um, there's like stuff down there. I can't do anything about it. Uh, how about you, dude? Huh? What do you want? I bet you want to trade jobs with me. Well, the answer is no. I've always wanted to operate this elevator. And now, finally, it's my turn. I couldn't wait to turn the crank. You must leave a really bad life if you're excited to turn a crank. That makes the elevator move, you know. When the water below recedes, I'm gonna raise and lower this elevator to my heart's content. Um. Yeah. We can mess with him later. Uh. Who are you? What do you say? Uh, I'm just an appetizer. Motorochi always demands an appetizer before he dines on his human sacrifice. What's taking so long? I should have been ready by now. Motorochi's going to chew us up and spit us out if we don't hurry. What on earth are those darn cooks doing? Oh. Hello. Hey, don't ring the Epicure... Ep I don't even know how to say that. You're not supposed to ring it until the appetizer's ready. Lord Orochi will punish us if it's run before that. Good. Okay, that just made enemies appear. Uh, well, ow! That's like some frostbite right there. Alright, bring it on. Alright, got more enemies to deal with. Uh, I think this battle is totally optional, but I'm not sure. I mean, they're here. I might as well fight them. Hey, knows that Demon Fang came straight to me. Alright, so I'm gonna beat you up again. And slice you. See? With that golden lucky cat? I don't yeah, I don't they just come to me. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I, the Golden Lucky Cut only works within a certain distance, I believe. Alright, well that's taken care of. Um, I guess we're gonna go through here now. Um, hmm. There's a big pot right there. It's like, it's got like roasted lizards right there. What is up with that? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slice these, see if I... Get something out of them. This is water. Uh, okay. Oh, hi there. Mm -hmm. This is a fine time for the ship to disappear. Last time I remember, he was right in front of that big pot. Where could he be? Hmm. Who knows? Uh, but you know, there's this big pot right here. I want to mess with it. Why? Cause just because I can. Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. Oh, please, can I get it? I want to. I want to get that treasure chest. Uh, I want to find up there. No, I can't do anything with that. Um, maybe later. I don't know. Well, like I said, there are no stray beads in the moon cave, so whatever that treasure is, I'm not I'm not gonna be that concerned if I don't get it. Uh I guess we can lift uh the lid of this pot up some. I mean why not? Okay. Okay, how did you get in there? And how did the lid close on you? Owie, 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 hot stuff! Hey, sweetheart! Yeah, you! Get me out of here before I end up well done! Owie, owie, owie! Ew. That was a close one, darling. I'm the fabulous head chef of this kitchen, by the way. No need for formalities. You can just call me Ajimi. Uh, I was cooking with such tender loving care. Ugh. 
uh, that I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. Tender loving care? What an absolutely fabulous mask you have there, sweetheart. Oh, well. Say, how would you like to be my assistant? Assistant? Oh, no, I... I have to whip up a lip smacking appetizer to whet Lord Orochi's appetite before the time comes for the human sacrifice course. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Wait, wait, we, uh, didn't come here to help you see. Oh, how should I put it? Ah, never mind that. It's just that I've run into a wee bit of a problem. I'm almost done, but alas, I've run out of my secret ingredients. I could finish up without them, but then I wouldn't be putting my heart into my beloved's, to my beloved's meal. Beloved? Well, I can, it's, I can relate to your obsession with detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. Our artists know that. Anyway, I'm in fruitcake. That's fabulous news, sweetheart. There are four secret ingredients I'll need you to find. Pay attention. All of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave. Okay, here it goes. Ogre liver, lips of ice, eyeball of fire, black demon horn. Got that? Okay then, I'm counting on you. Oh, silly me, I almost forgot. Here, take this key with you. The rest is up to you, darling. All right. I guess I'm doing this. Can I swim in this? Yep, back in swim with that, just no problem. Okay. Well, I know exactly where this key can go. In the next part, we'll begin our hunt for those secret ingredients. I'll see you then.